Hi, are you ready to change your mindset so you can focus on what you truly want within your photography and your photography business or start a photography business? After years of learning how to change my mindset, I had a lot of trial and error, learned what's good and what's not. And I'm gonna share with you those super secrets today. So uh, let's get to it. If this is your first time to the channel, like and subscribe so you can get great business tips for fine art, macro, landscape, and nature photographers. I've dived deep into research. I love to research all businesses and how they work, but then take that and bring it into the creative sector just for you photographers. So this has some really good information to really help your mindset to keep your business going, which I will share with you my number one book, that helped my mindset get me further in my photography life, in my life in general, to tell you the truth, towards the end of this video. These are the mind shifts that I want to remove from you. If you say to yourself, I don't have enough time for my photography. I don't have enough time for my business. My everyday life is so consuming. I just don't have time. There aren't enough hours in the day, Janice, to be able to build my dream business. I'm racing against the clock. I'm going here and going there. I don't have time to do what you asked me to do. I'm going to say, I was like that too. Not just one hand up, but two hands up. I was exactly like you. You see, I understand what you're saying because I was always backpedaling and not thinking that I could do it either. And I know it's an epidemic with all you photographers out there because the people that I've coached all tell me the same thing. I hear it all the time. Want to hear something that I always catch them on? I sure in the heck see them on social media all the time connecting to photographers. I see them scrolling around and liking a bunch of photography. I see them going off to Never Never Land in the social realm of hours being sucked in to your life. I have to laugh because I did it too. And before you click off, because you've been in the industry for a long time, you still feel like you don't have enough time, stay around, because I'm gonna give you some good mindset tips. What I noticed is that what shifted my mindset was when I started to say, I just don't have enough time for this. That in itself, by saying I don't have enough time, is really bad. So you have to change that mindset and say, not I don't have enough time, is when can I find time to do this? To do the tasks that you must do. I'm gonna be really, really truthful to you. Uh, people that say they don't have enough time all the time, yeah, there's some really major things that happen in life that I get. But if you're saying this all the time and you're not doing, you've waited two years, a year to start your photography business because you don't have the time, that's an excuse. And let's just check that off real quick. You're making excuses and we need to stop that excuse right now. Instead of, I don't have enough time, I generally have a lot to do and I can't realistically fit it in. Those are the real tough times and we have them. Just like me working the nine to five job, I get it. It's the kids, it's the hubby, it's the mom, it's the dad. It's really the realistic things that you must do to live and eat and breathe, right? So it's realistic. And what did I do to fix it? What I did was I went through everything that I needed to do within a week or two and just realized I can't do this by myself and I accepted it. And when I accepted it, I got help. But in order to do that, I had to say, how much time do I really have? How much time does it take? And can it realistically fit into everything that I am doing for the month of December. Let's put December because December is crazy, right? <laughs> I went through all of what I needed help with and I realized that it was taking me hours to clean my house. So I got somebody to help me clean my house. It was so wonderful. So the hours that it would have taken me to clean my house and get things organized, I used that for my business. I also realized that, hey, I could take 30 minutes before I go to work full time, maybe 30 minutes out of my hour lunch break and 30 minutes for sure after I get off of work, which is an hour at least to work on my business. And you may be thinking, but that's nothing. Oh yeah? Let's add it up. 15 hours a week is 60 hours a month. Oh my gosh, 60 hours a month. 
you can start and follow through with your business tasks and photographing and post-processing 60 hours out of the month. And I still got extra time with Heli. She was the one that used to clean my house back in the days. She used to clean my house and it gave me all that extra time on top of what I just shared with you. That's doable, right? If you have a plan and focus on that plan only, you will be able to do what you need to do. We'll talk about more of that soon, but let's get on to the mindset of number two. I don't have enough time, which actually means I have more important things to do than that. I would write all my list of things that needed to be done. Everything, uh, business, photography, home stuff, and it just really got a little overwhelming, right? It was just like, oh, I have all this stuff to do. How am I gonna do it? And then I would just do the fun stuff. I would do the things that I was like, oh, I, love, I wanna do that. I wanna post-process this image. But really, I should have connected with these clients over here. But I didn't wanna do that because I was having so much fun post-processing. Like a squirrel, too. Running around because you don't know what to do. You're just like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this, this, and this. And you only do the fun stuff. And that's not what we need to do. We need to prioritize that. Change that mindset. Take all your list and change the mindset and say, I need to prioritize because that is what must be done in order to really focus on a business. And I know you've heard it before, and I'm going to preach to you too because that is the truth. You have to take what's really important and what's gonna move you forward in your photography business and say in your mind what needs to be done and do it. Once I change that mindset, oh my gosh, I'm telling you right now, your business will bloom. I, trust me on this. I always say trust me, but it's really true. I realized that I really focused on what really mattered and it made me feel good. So the mindset changed. Your time is valuable. Your attention to what needs to be done within that time is money. That's why big corporations spend millions of dollars to find out the best way to keep you on their platform because they understand that a person's time and attention is where the money is at. And that's truly what built my photography business. I kept moving on the priorities. Within those hours that I just did in the other mindset, I focused on my website. I may have to change things up and talk to my clients a certain way. So I always made sure that that was a priority. Make sure it's up to par. It has where they can contact me, how I'm, what I'm going to give them, who I am, and how I can help them. I focus on making a priority of marketing, connecting to my ideal clients. What do they need? What are they asking for? Getting to know them. I didn't just spray my images out to the world. I focused on my ideal customers. I prioritized on creating new work for my clients to help them, to give them the feelings I wanted to give them. It wasn't the me syndrome anymore that so many artists do. It's all about me. It was more about what can I give my clients? I focused on their needs. I never gave up on my creativity for clients. I didn't care if Mojo over there didn't like my work or said I didn't know how to photograph. I didn't care. My mindset, my focus, my priority was to give those clients that truly loved what I did and I wanted to work with them what they wanted. You know you have a style. You know you love what you do. So prioritize on what you truly love. Don't go find and chase the money. Don't go copy other photographers. Go from your soul. Take that chance. Take what you love and do it. That's what a brand is. Brand is about you, you get it out to the world, that's marketing and finding the right people for you. Understanding client attraction, I'm gonna give you down below a great masterclass that's gonna teach you all about connecting to your clients, the clients that you want to work with. Check that out down below. Mindset number three is actually me now. This mindset is what I work on all the time. Every day I have to work on this mindset. And what that is, my I don't have enough time actually means I do actually have time, but I don't want to do that. So you may be doing this now in the beginning of your career, and that's fine because we all don't want to do certain things and that's normal. So what happened was like, I'll just tell you on me, I don't want to do legal things about my business. I can't stand the legal things. And so I would just push it back, push it back, push it back. And it was just so frustrating. But you know what it did? That mindset really screwed me up to tell you the truth because it didn't make me move forward when I really needed to focus on legal things within the photography business sector. 
And so, I, I, what did I do? I just pushed things back and pushed things back. And then here I am, not enjoying my business. And I don't want that for you. You know, there's things that I truly need help with. And what I do is I investigate. What did I need? I need help with legalities. How much does it cost? And then budget $20 a month or $100 a month whatever I can afford and put that away in a savings account and don't touch it. You buy your lenses, you buy your camera, you, got, you buy your gadgets. Push the money aside on something that will truly help you with your business. Save that money and then get the help that you need. It will really help your mindset for your business. Procrastination is the killer of your dreams. It really is. Please listen to number three do not procrastinate. So what did I do? I hired a, a business like LegalZoom that wasn't super expensive, yet they could help me with the legalities of a business. And that mindset of procrastination just lifted away and I could really focus on the business that I truly love and understood what I needed to do with the help of LegalZoom. Now there may be other things that you do not like. Maybe you like legal stuff. What do you not like and always push off? Get help and focus on getting that mindset away from you. Because if it's really dragging you down, invest in yourself, invest in your business. So with those three big, huge mindsets, if you need to go back to this video, definitely save. There's a little save thing down here and listen to my words when you feel like you're, when you don't have enough time, push that save and listen to me again because those are the three main mindsets that I hear all the time. I have a great video for you to check out that even shares with you how I really keep my time in check. It's really, really good. So then you can really organize your life better and understand as a whole view of what you can do to change your mindset to keep you moving forward. And the book will be down below. It's called The Untethered Soul, and now it's called Living Untethered. Those two books are absolutely amazing. I highly recommend you reading those if you really are, your mind's all over the place. This is not a photography book. It's more about internal to keep you moving forward and going for your goals. So check down below on the resources that I've given you, and of course, chat with me down below, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And here comes a big helicopter.